Okay, so I'm just gonna start it off. You guys already know what this video is about um, by the title of it. And I have wanted to tell my story for a very long time, but I felt like I was never ready. And even now, telling myself that I'm ready to do this, um, I'm a little scared. Um, because to relive this time in my life is gonna be a little hard, even though I'm past it. It's been close to 12 years you guys my son is turning 12 this july and we're gonna take it back so my story starts i was a freshman in high school i was in ninth grade and had a boyfriend um it was just like your typical high school relationship, I guess, you know, it's a kid relationship, you know, no one's driving yet. Um, yeah, that's, it was as simple as it could be, but we were very, um, it was very intense from the beginning. There was a lot of lust in the relationship and, um, skip to 10th grade. I got pregnant and it was, of course an accident it was not planned I mean there there's no way that a pregnancy in high school is planned at least not in this case and um, it was tough because we were not dating anymore we had actually stopped dating I want to say like six months to a year if I'm correct that could be a little sketch but give or take around that time that we had already broken up so this kind of happened on a one-time deal of uh, seeing each other again and um, mind you we were not going to the same high school we attended the same ninth grade like the same high school for ninth grade but he ended up moving to a different high school and so things happen we grew apart you know whatever um and I remember so vividly as if it was yesterday that um I used to get my period exactly on the date every single month I would not miss it and it was close to my birthday around the time that I would get it you know so it was like let's just say it was around the, uh, the 15th of every month and my birthday is on the 20th so I always knew when it was coming um, and I say my birthday is on the 20th because this is when I found out so I found out that um, my period didn't come and of course I remembered that we had possibly conceived um, a few weeks prior close to a month prior or a little more and um, yeah I found out that way without really positively taking a test I already knew things were happening quick like I was getting symptoms pretty quickly and by that time I was probably you know six to eight weeks pregnant and so, um, that's kind of how it happened. And you guys, I'm being very careful with my words here because, um, I don't want to speak on anyone else's behalf. This is my story. There's always, you know, two sides of the story and the truth. And this is my truth. And I would never want to speak on anyone else's behalf. Um, in this case, the other party, um, because we don't have any connection whatsoever. And, um, you know, for the respect of everyone's privacy, not going to speak of that person or their situation but basically from day one oh i spit from day one i was a single mom you know it was one of those and um what was crazy about this is that within the time that i was pregnant uh, my mom bought a house in arizona by the time that i was already six months pregnant i hid my entire pregnancy from everybody the only people that knew were him and i and so by the fifth month or sixth month, my mom, like I said, bought a house in Arizona and it was our first purchase. Like it was our first like, you know, house that we have ha we had ever bought, you know, um, we always lived in apartments my entire life. I was living in buildings and apartments and like things like that. So um, it was a big deal. She bought a house in Arizona. And so by the time that we um, got out there about two or three months prior, my sister had told my, my mom 
that uh, she was pregnant. She was expecting it with her longtime boyfriend, and we were all so happy. But you can imagine, I was 15. I was petrified. I was so scared because I knew that my situation wasn't ideal, and it wasn't um, a happy moment like my sister's pregnancy was. And so I was very, very scared at that moment. I was still very in denial, even though I already felt the baby, even though my symptoms were already there. And by the way, I had a very easy pregnancy with Kaden. Um, I did not throw up, like I didn't have any of that. I just had very like tender breast. Um, I was bloated, um, things like that, but nothing. I didn't have any like morning sickness basically. So my mom ended up finding out as we were, um, I think we had already been in Arizona for about a month. She found out because now I'm a lot bigger. I am heavy and I'm overweight and I'm on the bigger scale today. Um, proud of my body doesn't matter, but, um, when I was younger, I was actually, I reached a hundred pounds when I was in ninth grade and by 10th grade, I was 105 pounds. And by the time that mom found out that I was pregnant, I was still about 105, 108 pounds at the most. I was always very, just very petite. Um, I had a small frame and I'm very short. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm five feet. So I'm very tiny. So at 105 pounds, you can imagine I had a, I was pregnant. I had a six, seven month old belly and it was kind of like I overate, you know, that day. It's kind of what it looked like. I just looked really bloated all the time, but I had like this little, you know, like a tiny little pouch, but my mom obviously knew she knew my body and she, um, Sorry, I'm like, I keep breathing heavy because like anxiety is trying to take over, but I'm trying to breathe through it um, because it's not easy to talk about this. Um, but my mom found out and it was a horrible way to find out, but my mom didn't kick me out. She didn't kick my ass <laughs> like I thought she would. Um, and uh, that was it. She found out. A lot of things happened after that that were very complicated and I don't wish upon anybody to go through this during pregnancy, especially at a young age as a single mom. Um, but um, let's just say the other party just didn't make it any easier. It was horrible. It haunted me up until I had my second child with my husband today. The fact that I hid my pregnancy for six months, you guys, um, meant that... I didn't take care of myself. I didn't take any prenatal vitamins. Um, by the time that I was giving birth, I literally walked into the hospital. My water had broken and I had told a girl like, you know, at the hospital that I, my water broke and she's like, you, she looked at me. I put like, I pulled my shirt up and she's like, you look like you are like two months pregnant. Like you are tiny. And I'm like, well, I'm nine months. So where is labor and delivery? <laughs> um, I had gained about under 10 pounds with Kaden. So I was, I went from 108 to like 100, I want to say to like 118 pounds or like even, no, it wasn't even that. I think I gained like five to eight pounds. Like I'm not even kidding. Like I gained almost nothing, nothing. And um, yeah, I had a baby and he weighed six pounds. And to me, that was a miracle because a six pound baby, like, I didn't take care of myself at all. There was days where I would starve myself so that I wouldn't show there. I went, I took these measures to not get discovered and for my mom not to find out like what was happening to me. So when they handed me this baby and he was six pounds, it was a miracle to me that he even weighed anything past two pounds, you know? Um, but after that, things got very crazy because, um, that's when real life happens. Like pregnancy, I'm not going to say is easy, but doing it as a single mom when I was just a sophomore in high school, it got very hard. It got very difficult. I ended up finishing my second semester of sophomore year in Arizona. And, um, but I could no longer go back to school because I had a baby now and my mom, you know, you guys already know, I have no family out here. It's just my mom and my sister. And my sister at the time was still pregnant because Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, my son is about, uh, September, October, is about three months or two and a half months older than my niece. So I ended up having the boy and my sister had a little girl and they are two months apart. You know, it's kind of crazy. Um, 
but you know she had her own thing going on and like i don't have like a father figure like i do have a stepdad but he was here in california and so i was trying to do it on my own when we didn't have you guys like i'm the baby like up until that point i was the baby so because it was always my sister and then me my, me and my sister are two and a half years apart so there was never another child in the home we didn't have a little cousin to raise we didn't have a little nephew we didn't have anything so i remember like just not knowing how to make milk like i would look at this you know the the milk because i never breastfed him i didn't know like not that i could do that but i i didn't know any of this my mom like like i said i was the baby so all we knew was to give you know powder formula or whatever for for milk you know I remember him like just crying and screaming and like me not knowing what to do like it was so difficult you know my mom was helping helping me financially like i said but i was doing everything for him like on my own um and that does make you stronger at the end of the day you don't have to argue with yourself to change a diaper like who's gonna do it me or you let's play rock paper scissors like no there's no other choice but to do it yourself um fast forward to when he turned one when he turned one, I decided that around that time I would come back to California and stay with my stepdad because I did not like Arizona whatsoever. It just wasn't for me. So I wanted to move back to the valley and I did. I moved back a, uh, a day after my son turned one. And this is the crazy part because my son turns one in July. My anniversary with Matthew, my husband today, is in August. So our anniversary is August to um, August 20th, 2007. And Caden turned one July 17, 2007. So basically what happened within that month, right? Um, I reunited with Matthew after not seeing him I think the last time I saw him was when I was in ninth grade and he was also in ninth grade, but we were two different high schools because Matthew and I did not attend the same high school. I don't know if you guys know the background between Matthew and I, but really quickly, we went to middle school together here on the Valley and we became best friends for two years, seventh and eighth grade. By the time, like I said, that we went to high schools, he went to a completely different high school than I did. And that's when I got into this relationship. And so me and him kind of cut ties, went our own ways. And that was that. But he did find out that I was pregnant. Um, I remember he, I blocked all my friends from, you know, on social media from the Valley when I found out that I was pregnant because I just felt like I was going to be judged. I was really young. And I remember about three or four months prior to me coming to California, Matthew slid into my DMs basically. <laughs> and by DMs, I don't mean Instagram. Um, I do believe it was on Facebook and he, um, or on AOL Messenger, AIM, and he basically was like, hey, like, what's up? Where are you? Like, I heard you're in Arizona. I heard you had a baby, and I was like, I was, like, ashamed because this was my best friend. This was, like, I told him everything, and I was so ashamed to be like, yeah, I had a son, and, like, I'm a dropout, and, like, you know, and uh, he was like, man, that's cool, you know, like, he was so cool about it. He's like, you want me to drive out there? You know, I have a license now, and, like, I'm driving, and I was like, what? Like, you're just, like, you're an 11th grader now. Like, what do you mean you're driving? Um, and he's like, yeah, he's like, I'll, I'll go to you, you know? And I'm like, no, don't. Like, I was so ashamed and so embarrassed still. And he was just so cool about it, you guys. So basically, long story short, when I came out here, he, um, I, I think I hit him up and I was like, hey, like, I'm hungry. You have a car. Maybe you can come bring me some food. <laughs> and uh, he was like, yeah, cool. What do you want? And I was like, for real? For real? And so he ended up uh, coming over. He bought me food. <laughs> I think he got me like Jack and Boss or something. And um, we kind of went on like, it wasn't a date. I don't want to say a date because we were just friends catching up, right? But he did not meet Caden that day. What happened was um, I met up with him. I went out for like a few hours with him for like an hour or two to the mall to Topanga and dropped me back off. And then after that, I just felt I just felt something in my heart that I had never felt before for him and um so it was like a crush it, but it was something more than that and so we kept in touch we started hanging out I think in like two weeks we hung out like probably every Saturday and Sunday like 
we hung out all the time and then he hung out with Kaden and I remember the first time they met it was kind of like it's gonna get pretty emotional hopefully I can hold back the tears I remember when I went out with him um and he met Kaden it was almost like he fell in love with Kaden and got in, got really connected and got along with him so well that I had never seen like Kaden interact with a, with another male before right because like that person wasn't there and the only other person that I saw him with was with um the father of my niece and uh, my brother-in-law then and so you know and like they loved each other so much but that was like his uncle you know but this was different this was so different because this was like a male figure and this was not a family member this was someone who i was growing feelings for when i had never felt these feelings for matthew when i you know when we were friends in middle school and um when i saw them like get along it gets me choked up for the right reasons being a single mom is not easy, but being a teen mom who's also a single mom is the, one of the hardest things ever. And I didn't know if I had failed as a mom to Kaden because I felt like it was my responsibility I felt like I should have chosen a better man for Kaden. So when Matthew came along and they got along so great, and Matthew tells me today, Matthew tells me all the time that he fell in love with Kaden before falling in love with me. That was crucial and that was so important. And and again, this I'm getting emotional, but it's all good because I just didn't think that a man like that existed. Matthew was 16 years old. Matthew was very young. This other person was a lot older. Age doesn't mean anything at all. Someone could be way older, but their immaturity level out of this world. And I felt like Matthew, like, he was so mature about everything, you know? And they got along so well. And um, I ended up asking Matthew out, <laughs> so funny, a few weeks later, he said yes. And I told him like, listen, like this could either make or break our relationship, you know, because we're best friends. And if this doesn't go right, I, I can't bring my son or bring any man around my son. Like this has to be something that you're gonna be committed to. And he was like, I am. <laughs> And um, he's been there ever since, you guys. Like, it's crazy to think about that he was only 16. He was already working a job. He was going to school still. I would drop him off to school sometimes because he would let me borrow his car. I didn't have a car back then. Um, I didn't have a car for like a little bit. And my mom bought me a car, my first car. It's a little Corolla, but I loved it. Um, things just worked out in the end. You know, it was extremely difficult to watch all my friends graduate. It was extremely diff difficult to watch, you know, people going to prom and like graduating college and graduating this and like going on trips. And here I am and I had to stay home and I had to watch my baby and I had to um, make these really difficult decisions that no 14 year old, no 15 year old, no 16 year old should have to make. But there is there is light at the end of the tunnel with whatever it is that you're going through. I thought this was the end of me. All right, guys, so that's my story. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different than my usual, but I've been wanting to do a video like this, and this is my channel, my video. I wanted to be as authentic as possible, so here it is. Like this video, you guys. Subscribe, and I will see you next time.